Hey, my friends, it's Big Stu here. Just want to say thank you for joining me once again on my Big Views Mystery unboxing videos. I just wanted to make a mention. The t-shirt I'm wearing, I don't think I've worn this t-shirt, but let me give you a look at it back up here a little bit. And uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, anyways, um, from our Mystery Funko Box. So I wore it for when we went to the movies for Free Comic Book Day, so I had a great time. Anyways, today's video... I couldn't remember if I'd worn this shirt or not after I opened it up. So if I had, then we're seeing it a second time. Uh, but anyways, to get back, we are doing Loot Crate. Uh, Maze Loot Crate. Um, my video's late. I apologize for that. And my wife says my videos, I apologize way too much. So I'll try not to apologize too much in my video. But the... Uh, um, this video is coming out late over the weekend, and so again, um, sorry for that. Um, things have been crazy at school. School is wrapping up, involved in school, been in several school programs, and getting ready for our summer, summer camp programs. So I'm the head of that, so it's just been crazy getting everything ready. So anyways, but Loot Crate came in today. So I am opening it up, and we're going to find out what I got. For, my box is a little kind of damaged a little bit. So it's not really, I'm not hearing anything rattle in it. So that's good. But this theme was Guardians. Oh, it's kind of cool. I'm wearing my Guardian shirt. But this theme is Guardians. I believe he's going to have something with Destiny, something with Guardians of the Galaxy. They had talked about there being a Guardian Galaxy figure. I'm really hoping that it's going to be a Q-Fig figure. In the past, last month or one month before, they did investig. I skipped it. It was Investigations um, uh, Month. And and, th and they said that they're going to be a Jessica Jones figure in the box. It ended up being a Q-Fig of Jessica Jones. And if you watch much of my videos, you will know that I really, really love Q-Figs. And uh, so... But anyway, so I'm hoping since they announced that there's going to be a Guardians of the Galaxy figure in here, that it's going to actually be a Guardians of the Galaxy Q fig. So, got my fingers crossed. I love Guardians of the Galaxy, so at the very least, and that's fine. It's kind of funny. I wore the shirt not thinking about the box being Guardians, so it kind of works out itself that I'm wearing a Guardians of the Galaxy shirt, and the theme is Guardians. Um, I believe, too, there was like a Goonies thing supposed to be in here. Guardians of the Galaxy, Destiny, the video game, Goonies, and it might have actually been Star Wars, too. And I guess Star Wars is Guardians against the Empire, Guardians, you know, of the Rebel Alliance, I guess, how that falls in. Destiny, I don't really play that game very well. I have friends who do. So they, those are Guardians to some extent, I guess you can say. And, of course, Guardians of the Galaxy is really big right now. And these boxes will be tying in to, to movies and things like that over the summer. So Goonies, I don't know if they were really guardians of each other or, or guardians of the town and everything. But, but it'd be cool. I like Goonies. So we'll see what we get out of this. So besides that, I know some of those items are covered in the themes, but I have no idea. But good news is nothing is shaking or rattling, so that doesn't mean anything. It maybe is broken. So that'd be good. So let me get my... Joker cup. My knife. We're about to find out. <laughs> I'm happy already. Okay. Open up box. This is what we're seeing. Obviously a Q-Fig. So we're going to look at the Q-Fig first. This box will be worth it. Just because of the q -fig. Oh my goodness. Okay. Best Q-Fig in the world it could be. Rocket Raccoon with Baby Groot on his head. Could not be any better than that. My two favorite characters from Guardians of the Galaxy. Very, very cool. I love this. Rock, Rocket Raccoon is one of my favorites. It does not say that this is a Loot Crate exclusive. So you'll be able to get this, I guess, eventually elsewhere online. But this is very cool. And uh, I definitely... Can you see that a little bit more Groot on him? Top of his head there a little bit. So I definitely love this Q-Fig. And this is one of the reasons why I continue to get Loot Crates for the Q-Figs. If I know there's going to be a Q-Fig in it, I'm going to get it. Um, 
the the box that had investigative investigations i guess was the theme um that was a box i just wasn't that thrilled about and so eventually i'll get to jessica jones later on but there wasn't a lot that i really collected or really wanted for myself personally so i didn't mind missing the box okay so anyway so we got this this to me is worth it just by itself so i'm gonna love this okay i got a shirt Okay, this is going to be Goonies, I can tell. The Goonies never say die. So, very cool. Kind of have like a little pirate thing here going. But, I don't have a Goonie shirt. So, I'm very happy with this. So, next video, I'll be wearing this shirt. Okay, so I got Pop, our Q fig, and a t-shirt. What else? I got a pin, uh, Avatar, the last Airbender pin. Is the pin? Looks a little different. I wonder if that glows in the dark. It looks, it might glow in the dark. We'll have to look in the book because the painting's a different kind of. It might be hard to. It's like a fluorescent kind of a white. And their pin always leads to other things and locking other things. So maybe you unlock a comic or unlock the game avatar game or something okay i got the book here we'll say that okay, here's something destiny oh okay it says three patch set Oops. guess these are maybe jacket patches Hunter, Warlock, and Titan are the themes of the patches. So, again, I'm not a huge fan of Destiny. Again, it's just a patch, cloth patch. Kind of cool, I guess, if I really understood the reference. And and this says it is an ex Loot Crate exclusive right there. Okay, put it back in the bag. I do know someone who likes Destiny a lot, so maybe that person will be interested in this. Okay, I got six set of colored pencils and sharpener to create exclusive colored pencils. It just looks like basic colors, their pencils. So I have a book in here at the bottom, and it looks like it's Star Wars. I wonder if it's a coloring book or something. And the last thing is Star Wars. The art, the art of coloring Star Wars: thirty images to inspire creativity. Luke Crate exclusive at the bottom there okay so i'll turn over here so some different designs and all so kind of cool i have a couple of these coloring books i really haven't done much with these coloring books yet normally they're they don't even have a price on this because this is exclusive and normally those things don't always have prices on it um, some of them, I have, a, my son bought me a superhero one, and I got a couple of them, and haven't gotten around to really coloring and relaxing. I, I do enjoy coloring and relaxing, so eventually, maybe I'll do it and everything. So, that's it for the box. Not, seems like a super lot in the box, but with, I like the shirt. I like the coloring book. Okay, so let's see. We got coloring book one, crowns two, patches is three. Shirt is four, pin is five, Q fig is six. So there are six items, and we have the book here. Let's see. Of course, it gives you another picture of it outside the box. So that's very cool. I like the smoking guns. I like that baby Groot's on his head. Looks like he's yelling. Okay, Goonie shirt. Kind of showed it to you, but that's a Goonie shirt. 
or star coloring book. Uh, the patches. You can put them on your jacket or just save them. I have a friend who collects patches and he puts them in uh, in frames and things. Oh, see, I was right. It glows in the dark. The pen does. Okay. Yeah, it seemed like it was something different. And free digital comic, Rocket Raccoon, I get that for free. I can download that. And everything. Okay, very cool. The box, we talk about Loot Crate boxes. It's not a lot here, the box. It's just this... Oh, things are falling out. Not very smart. Okay. It's just this piece kind of right here, center. So it's not the whole box. We just pop that out. That pops out of the box. And it forms this. Is what it forms. So part of the box pops out. And we're only using part of the box. And... Your best Titan Warlock Hunter poses. Uh, secret keys. I don't even know. Oh, it's a ghost. Destiny patches. All you need now is your own ghost. So, that's the ship. I'm assuming is a ship. Is what the ghost is. Ghost designs. So, anyways. So, that's that. So, maybe my friend will also like my box. So, anyways. I'd say I will rate this box <laughs> pretty high but anyways i'd rate this box this box costs around 22 dollars if not mistaken i'm still one of the fairly inexpensive boxes that you can get this and geek fuel range under 25 dollars um including including shipping so that's a very good deal and sometimes because i wear i'm a big student i wear a little larger shirt sometimes there's a cost of a couple of dollars more for my shirt size, for a larger shirt size over an extra large. And, uh, but I believe um, Blue Crate doesn't charge you any extra for the size of your shirt. So as far as that goes, so something's itching me. I apologize. Oh, shouldn't apologize for that. Anyways, I'm trying to make this video not so late or so long because it's kind of late. Anyways, and so, so I think that's pretty cool that you know, you're not nickel and dime because you want a larger shirt. <laughs> Therefore, then you get, you have to pay a couple bucks more. So, but I believe Loot Crate doesn't do that. Geek Fuel, I believe you charge a couple extra dollars for theirs. But still, their box is still inexpensive compared to other things. Most of my Funko boxes, well, all my Funko boxes I pay for, Star Wars, DC, Collector Core, and Legion of Collector Marvel, you know, I pay like $31. So it's like $25 plus, plus the shipping. Um. Anyway, so, but... I'm very happy with those boxes, with those prices for what I get in those boxes. And these are a nice alternative to being a little bit cheaper, less than $25 a box. I'm going to let's stop the suspense here. I'm going to give this box out of a 10. I would give this box probably an 8 because of the Q-Fig because I want to encourage them to do more Q-Figs. I like the t-shirt very much. Coloring book's okay. That's fine with me. Don't mind the coloring book. Um, but really... I don't think I'm going to trade anything out of this box. I'm going to keep it or I'm going to, you know, do something with the Destiny items. But besides that, I'm very happy with this box. I'm very happy with the theme. So I really got nothing to complain about. I love this. I love this box. It's a nice, it's a nice treat. That's all I can say. Next thing we got coming up, I can tell you really quick. Next thing we got coming up is Star Wars um, 40th anniversary uh, from the Funko Smugglers Blue Star Wars theme box. So I can't wait till we do that one. So that'll be our next video. And I just got that box also in the mail yesterday. I originally wasn't going to do that video for this weekend. But I decided I wanted to do the, um, the Loot Crate because it was the brand newest one. I wanted to get that out there. And I was curious to see if I got a Guardians of Galaxy cube figure or not. So, which I did. So I'm very, very happy. So again, my friends, Big Stew out behind me somewhere is uh, Little Stewie. He's back there somewhere today's video. You might have seen him, might not have seen him, but he's back there. Anyways, so I will see you. Thanks for joining me. And next week will be our Star Wars box, 40th anniversary. So big stew out. Thanks a lot, my friends. Bye.